In our last video, we learned how to add fields and forms. However, to use processes effectively, we should familiarize ourselves with KISSflow even better. Here are some common queries that started popping up in Patrick's inbox once everyone started filling out the forms. Can I hide a few sections in a form? How do I navigate around in KISSflow? Can I edit a form after submission? How do I view tasks assigned to me? How do I modify a request before approving it? Can I share a form with someone outside KISSflow? Let's answer them one by one. Conditional visibility. To modify a process, we first need to go to Edit Process. Here, when you scroll down to a section, you will be able to edit the section settings from here. Go to the Visibility tab and toggle the default to Hidden. Next, add a visibility rule so the section is visible only when the condition is fulfilled. For the Catalog Items section, we will enter these visibility rules. Now when someone opens a live form, the Catalog Items section is only visible when the type of purchase is There are multiple ways to land on a process. First is on the home page. You will find a list of all the recent flows accessed by you. Second is Explorer, which you can access from here or by clicking here. Finally, you can use this search button to find the process you would like to access. Before we go any further, let us brush up on two key roles in any process. An initiator is someone who creates a new request, like if you are raising a purchase request for a computer, and an assignee is the one who approves it. This could be your boss who approves. As an initiator, you can launch a live form by clicking New Item. Fill in the details like date, initiator department, and purchase type. You can also add rows from multiple item requests. Don't worry if you exit the form when you are halfway through. KISSflow will save it as a draft. Hit Submit to put your request in progress. It's important to remember that once you submit a form, it cannot be modified. However, you can reassign or withdraw a request after it is submitted. You reassign from here and withdraw it from here. Jump to the My Items tab to check the progress and status of your requests. Here they're categorized under Draft, In Progress, Participated, Completed, Withdrawn, and Rejected tabs. Under the In Progress tab, you can find all ongoing requests. To get more information, just select a request from the list. Select the Show More button over here to look at the workflow and check the progress of the request. The next step in a process is the approval from the assignees. As an assignee, you may first want to keep a track of the tasks assigned to you. These can be found on the home page as well as under the Tasks tab. These are also called Global My Tasks. These tasks span across flows and processes, but you also have the option to view the tasks linked with each process separately. To view tasks specific to a process, you need to select that process and navigate to its My Tasks tab, like this. All you need to do is click Submit to approve the request. But if you don't want to approve the request right away, you have a few other options. Or you can choose the Reassign option. You can also send it back to a previous step by selecting at which step you want to send it to along with a note. Lastly, you can reject the request and type in your reason for the same. 
KissFlow has a powerful built-in notification system. You can find all your notifications here. From this pop-up, you can scroll through all your notifications. When you click a notification card, you will go to the page associated with the notification. Show All takes you to a full screen notifications page where you can see previews of the items. From the notifications page, you can view different tabs to see All, Unread, Mentions, and Action Needed notifications. Next, you can jump to Settings to manage all your notification preferences. Here you will find an option to allow email notifications, push notifications, and even the option to set notification preferences for specific flows. Say a requester adds a comment in the form to remind you about their request. Now you will receive a notification in KissFlow as well as an email. You can click the View Now button in the email body and get simply redirected to the form. Now that's a lot to take in, but stay with us for just 30 more seconds. There's a really handy feature we haven't mentioned yet. Patrick shared all these forms and processes internally with his team, right? But what if Clara wants a form for, say, vendor registrations? With KissFlow, Patrick can make forms public so people from outside their organization can access them. Go to Settings in the drop-down menu and click the Public Form Setting tab. Then toggle the Public Form URL button and the system will generate a shareable link. All you need to do is copy the link and share it. Clara's vendors can fill in the form without logging into KissFlow, and she can view all the registrations from her KissFlow dashboard. Pretty handy, huh? To keep on learning, jump straight to the Advanced Workflow lesson.